Hey, what's going on guys? Moose 78 back at you with another American Truck Sim video. And today gonna kick off my series on the ATS map rescale. Now, if you're not aware, back on June 23rd, SES announced that they're completely redoing the map, changing the scale from 135 to 120, making the game 75% larger, which is pretty awesome. I got a video out on that. A uh, link for that is in the description, so be sure to check that out if you've not. But uh, what I want to do with this series is touch on about three topics per video and just kind of go in depth on some things and kind of add to kind of what SES is talking about. But uh, really talk about some things that I would think I would like to see implemented into the game and change. And I'm sure you guys are going to have a lot of the same things as well. So we'll kind of jump right into it with the first topic, and that is the ramps in the game. I think we can all agree that the ramps need some serious attention in the game. You know, both the off ramps and on ramps are pretty short and pretty steep. You know, when you're going off the interstate or a highway, that exit lane is usually pretty short and it's pretty steep. And if you, you know, don't come to a dead stop, or at least what I found, if you don't come almost to a complete dead stop, once you start to go down that hill, you just gain an insane amount of momentum and it becomes nearly impossible to stop your truck. And the flip side of that, and I think the bigger issue is the on-ramps when you're getting onto the highway or the interstate. They're just extremely too short, a lot of them are pretty steep, and it's kind of crazy that the ramps, the on-ramps in the game are steeper than a lot of the actual highways and where there should be mountainous areas, and we'll get to that here in a little bit. But I think the biggest problem with the on-ramps is the fact that there's really no merge lanes at all in the game. There's a couple here and there, if you're lucky. But uh, for the most part, when you're merging onto the highway, you literally have little to no lane to gain speed and to merge safely into traffic. So hopefully they can kind of create some prefabs while they're doing this uh, rescale project that are, you know, more, more geared towards the actual U.S. road system than just uh, kind of what we have now, which I'd, I'd imagine the prefabs they're using now are just copy and paste from ETS2 which I'm okay with them using, you know, already used assets from ETS2 because it's just kind of, you know, copy and paste. But when it comes to something like the road system, I, I'd like to see them uh, kind of create some unique prefabs, you know, specifically for the U.S. road system. And uh, that is one of the bullet points they kind of touched on was, you know, kind of fixing up and, re as they put it, retouching the existing system of roads. So hopefully that is something that's included in that because, like I said, the ramps in this game need a lot, a lot of attention. And the next topic I want to get into is I'd like to see them do a little bit better job of recreating certain environments in the game. And what I mean by that is, you know, on the West Coast, especially in the northern parts of California, northern parts of Nevada, there's a lot of mountainous areas. And that just, you don't, you really don't get that feel in game that you're traveling, you know, through mountain ranges. You're, you know, you really don't go up any large mountains or anything like that. Uh, one of the things I mentioned in one of my very first uh, Stories from the Road videos was kind of feel like, uh, and a lot of people feel like they kind of dropped the ball with uh, not putting something like Donner Pass in the game, which is a very, you know, famous, you know, mountain range out in uh, Nevada. And they're just not really that hilly, mountainous type of roads to travel in the game. I mean, you don't have those nice, long grades to travel up or down in the game to kind of challenge your skill and things like that. To me, California and Nevada feel kind of flat and it reminds me more of driving out in the Midwest than the actual West Coast. So hopefully that's something they can address in the rescale and kind of and kind of create those mountain ranges and kind of give you that feel that you're really, you know, in the West Coast. And I think they're kind of addressing it, uh, maybe not this specifically, but I know they've uh, showed some screenshots of them going back and doing the Golden Gate Bridge and making that a lot more realistic than it was originally. So maybe this is something they'll address as well. Not really heard, but I certainly hope this is something they can address to really give you that immersive feel of driving out in the West Coast. And the last topic I want to bring up today is I would really love them to implement some type of bypass or loop system, depending on where you're at in the country. Around here, we call them bypasses. I know in other parts of the country, they call them a loop. But I would really love them to see implement some kind of system like this to where if you're not making any deliveries, if you don't have to stop in a given city, you can just take the bypass and go around that city and not have to make all those unnecessary turns and whatnot 
and do all that unnecessary city driving, unless of course you choose to. To me, it's not very realistic having to constantly, you know, get off the interstate, drive through a city for a little bit, only to get back onto another stretch of highway. There should be some way of connecting those roads a lot better than uh, what we have now. And again, going back to the blog post, they mentioned something about touching up the road system. So hopefully this is something that gets included into that. Because like I've said many times before, I hate driving through Vegas in the game just because it takes so stinking long to go through all those traffic lights, this, that, and everything else. Now, if I'm making deliveries in Vegas or if I need to stop in Vegas for anything, not a problem at all. But if I'm, you know, going from, you know, the northern part of Nevada, you know, down to Arizona or something like that, I just dread driving through Vegas because it takes so much time and it doesn't really add anything to my trip or my experience at all. But yeah, that's where I'm going to stop it for today, guys. I will try to get these up every Wednesday. And like I said, it's just going to be, you know, pretty quick, pretty to the point, uh, just a few topics. And uh, I'm going to try to do these, you know, every week until, you know, as long as I can or until the rescale gets done. If you like today's video, give it a like and a share. This helps me out a bunch, helps the channel grow. And if you're new to the channel and are not already subscribed, please consider doing so now. But guys, I'm going to cut on out of here. Stay safe out there. Take care. And we will catch you in the next video. Hey guys, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed this video. Please take a moment and subscribe to my channel. Also, if you want to follow me over on the Twitters, click on the icon on the outro pick. And if you're looking for great gaming gear at an affordable price, click on the no scope icon for my affiliate link. And if you want more ATS content, click on the video to check out my stories from the road playlist. Thanks, and we'll catch you in the next one.